This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, July 17th, 2013. Now our first look at the 0Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we still have the 594 ridge over the eastern half to almost two-thirds of the country centered uh, somewhere near Indianapolis or just to the south and west. Main westerly still well off to our north. The GFS still over rambunctious on the rain, showers, and thunderstorm chances. It'll be mainly dry, very humid, highs in the lower 90s with heat and disease nearing 100. That it looks to be the same here Thursday as well. Highs in the uh, lower 90s, maybe a few mid 90s, heat and disease at or approaching 100 with winds uh, fairly light out of the south and west. Frontal system begins to come through late Thursday night into Friday. Friday, as you can see here, it'll be moving, slicing through the state with a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. This will last into Friday evening, and then by Saturday, it'll be well to the south and east of the state. Be cooler and drier with highs back into the 80s, maybe lower 80s at this point, with the humidity much lower than it is at this point. So... Sunday, it looks like this is when the next system will come in with a warm front I'll be trying to set up. So Sunday in the afternoon and into the evening, we could see another threat of some showers and thunderstorms. As the humidity begins to increase, the warm front looks to start setting up again. So even here Monday, we could see a chance of some showers and thunderstorms from the northern high plains through the Mississippi River Valley to the south and east. And that looks to also be the case Tuesday, as the warm air is now shunted off to the west, and some cooler and somewhat drier air is over the east, and the battleground here is bringing us some rain chances. This looks to continue even a week from today, next Wednesday. You can see the disturbance over the western Great Lakes and the upper Mississippi River, River Valley, a 594 ridge around the Four Corners region. And with that, that means we would see, well, a threat of showers and thunderstorms. And a lot of this rain is very needed as the, a lot of the grass is starting to turn. Drought conditions are starting to approach. This is going to be needed rain. As we head further into the extended period here, on July the 28th, you can see we have a trough coming into the North Pacific Northwest, a ridge, kind of a flat ridge over the southwest. And you can see... Winds out of the south will be bringing maybe a bit of Gulf moisture and maybe a shower or storm. Not on a very organized basis, though, with no real organized system, at least close by. And then at the end of the forecast on the 1st of August, well, that looks to be typical of summer. I mean, westerlies along the northern tier of the country, a fairly flat ridge and elongated ridge over the southern half of the country. And it looks like a tropical system possible over the Gulf of Mexico, but... We've seen a lot of tropical systems on the GFS this far out. And also you can see a frontal system moving through the Great Lakes with some showers and storms there as well. Satellite image from last evening, that upper level low that's been plaguing the southwest and the southern plains, starting to weaken a bit as it's moving into northern Mexico and the desert southwest. Still some showers and storms there. Elsewhere it was fairly quiet. The watch morning map for last evening, heat advisories from Minnesota and northern Iowa into Wisconsin, Michigan, also scattered amongst New England and the Mid-Atlantic. Flash flood watches continue in West Texas and Southeast New Mexico with red flag warnings in the Pacific Northwest. The QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock showing uh, rainfall around here over the next five days, maybe a quarter of an inch, could be heavier in any thunderstorms that form, heaviest over northern Mexico and in the Great Lakes into New England.